And you can see that they want to offer somebody 400 and something thousand for, 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 for a house in that area, another one 500 and something thousand. And I'm asking myself, what is the real, the true value of those estates down there? We can't, on one hand, giving somebody in the vicinity of the airport in Kong Point 400 and something thousand. You can't buy no piece of land down there for 400 and something thousand or none. I don't care who evaluated they bring to evaluate down there. No piece of land down there is valued at $400,000. None whatsoever. We cannot be giving them that. And then the THA, not so long ago, purchased 13 acres of land in Backlet for close to $43 million. Do the maths. Right in Backlet, where the land value, I am sure, is less than the proximity, the lands in proximity to the airport and, and uh, to Store Bay and Pigeon Point and to significant tourism-related real estate. The lands in Backlet are less than there, must be valued less than there. And the THA, with an evaluator, evaluator's report, paid close to $43 million for 13 acres of land in Backlet. But down in Bon Accord, we want to give the people small change and say, go on, go your way. With 400 and something thousand dollars, what can they really rebuild? What, what, what house can they really rebuild with that? And none of these things were considered by the Commissioner of State Lands, by the central government, by, by the, the THA. And what is even more sickening is that, well, thank God the THA has changed. So they're getting sympathies and empathies, and you're getting a THA that wants to work with them and, and give them access to lands and, and, and funding to rebuild. But I, I, I find it shocking that the so-called loving and caring party, nobody is reaching out to them. Where the MP? Who is the MP for the area? Why is she not down there with the residents? Why? Why? What, what, what moves did they make to, to help people relocate effortlessly? This cannot be the way that we do business. I, just before coming to this press briefing, I spoke to the senior state council and I gave instructions that she is to sit with the team immediately, our lawyers immediately, and to look for a, a way that the THA can intervene in this matter, forcefully in the court, to ensure that it doesn't go beyond taking the items out of the people's homes. This is, is almost sacrilegious, it's an insult. We have Chinese down there going in the people's house, taking out their, 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 their lifelong belongings literally plucking out the people's navel string and tossing it outside in a garbage bag. That cannot be how we treat, we treat people. You notice what I spoke about earlier with what's hap happening in Adelphi. We own piece of estate there. The THA acquired the estate uh, and met what we would call squatters in the area. We ain't kicking them off. We ain't trying to break down their residence. We ain't trying to mash up their farms. What we did, we sending land management, we survey the area in and we're trying to house them within whatever development will happen there. Now I understand for the airport, we may not be able to house people within an airport, within a terminal. But certainly we have to pay people and pay people sufficiently. I, I saw this morning the eviction uh, letter, the eviction notice 